Portland, Oregon is definitely known for the hoods. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I'm talking now. What's up, everybody? This is Jackson Wilkie with the Living in Portland, Oregon team. If this is your first time to this channel and you want to know what it's like to work, eat, sleep, live, play right here in the PDX, make sure you tap that subscribe button and you click the bell so you're notified every time we do a new video. And we honestly are getting so many phone calls, emails, texts every single day from people moving, relocating here. We absolutely love it. So thinking about moving basically anywhere in Oregon or Southwest Washington, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, even send us that pigeon carrier. However you want to get a hold of us, we got your back when moving to the Portland Metro. All right, so I compiled a list, and I'll stop you right now. If you're looking more for just suburbs, I just released a video not too long ago, and it was talking about the best suburbs. So if you're really kind of, you know, broadening your search, maybe start there and then work inwards. But this is something that's cool. As we've gone out and vlogged all these areas, and I'm not born and raised here. You know, I was new here just a few years back, and to really get into these neighborhoods and tell you what it's like, what I like, what I don't like, you know, and some of the clients that have moved there and their stories. This is going to be a very good indication of just all these different areas, which one's going to fit you most. So with that being said, we're going to start off with number nine, and that is the Southwest Hills. So when I got here and, and actually to, to start this, I want to bring up the map real quick and show you if you see there's like a little oval for downtown Portland. And then to the southwest of that, there's kind of a bigger loop right there. That is an area, and the reason that bigger loop to the southwest of Portland, Oregon is there is because that's a huge mountain system. So you talk about views of downtown Portland, um, you know, incredible hiking trails. And actually, we've had a lot of people who like to, you know, run, ride street bikes. They love this area because it provides so many different challenges and windy roads, and it's just, you know, gorgeous nature spectacle. But the southwest hills is up in the northwest corner of that inner loop. And so this is an area that uh, we're going to be talking about a kind of a neighborhood just next to it. But this is people who are just avid nature. Now online on niche.com, it also mentions about the school districts. Basically all the schools in this area are going to be top notch. Uh, you feed into a lot of really good school districts in these. So you see people who uh, like to kind of live in nature. And so when people are like, I just want the trees, I want the views, I want, you know, cool parks. I want really the, the, the nature side of Portland, not like the, the, extreme downtown bar walk shop the cool thing is and what people like is you can walk there's hiking trails that will take you right to downtown portland uh and i mean there's i remember taking some clients and we were showing this area and we didn't walk down but you know it takes longer to, to drive around down to downtown but you go hit a whole foods market they wanted to go grab lunch at whole foods so i mean you kind of have that ability and so southwest hills with the schools and the nature uh that comes in at number nine so number eight on the list this one is if you guys have been following us at any length and maybe not, you haven't, um, you know, you're new here. The Sabin neighborhood comes in at number eight. Now, we talked about this over two years ago. Uh, Jesse, who, you know, is just uh, his whole life has been Portland, Oregon. And he saw the Sabin neighborhood two and a half, three years ago. Is like, hey, the sneakiest, best place to live, I think, right now. And, and to get in is the Sabin neighborhood. So it's been discovered a little bit. But the cool thing about Sabin is it's sandwiched right between Irvington, uh, Alameda, and up to the north, you have the Alberta Arts District. So at the time, you know, and everything obviously in Portland is starting to raise in price, but the Sabin neighborhood was just kind of like this, this little neighborhood in between all of the most iconic ones on the, on the northeast, southeast side there that... Um, you know, that was just more affordable. So you find a little bit more like the the three ones, two ones, three twos. Uh, and then you're actually finding a lot of where investors are scraping lots and building like three story, uh, super modern homes. And so you have kind of the ability to, to go to Irvington and, and, and enjoy all the shops, you know, there at the Lloyd district or go up north to Alberta arts district and enjoy that, you know, Alameda, Hollywood, all of these are just basically within walk or you can ride your bike. The cool thing is, you know, again, according to, to niche.com, this is not a steering in any way. The school districts in this area are pretty good as well. So Sabin neighborhood is super sneaky. At least it was, you know, a couple of years ago and something that you should probably uh, keep your eye on if you like more of like the true PDX, the walkability, the, the bike riding type of stuff. Number seven on the list is Irvington. So that's just south of 
downtown or downtown of Sabin, where we were just talking about. Now, this puts you on the southern end of it. You know, you have the Lloyd District, you have incredible shopping. But the thing that makes Irvington what it is, and we see some of the top Nike execs, professional athletes, uh, CEOs, they love this area because you're going to find massive homes, huge space. And the one thing that really separates Irvington from a lot of these areas is you know, Northeast, Southeast Portland, you're going to have real tight living and tight streets. So sometimes the parking uh, on the on the left or right of the street can make it almost like a one, uh, you know, one way traffic. Irvington has some massive streets there that, um, you know, are just big and wide. But, you know, you're going to find some of those homes there that it's almost unexplainable, but we vlogged it. So if you've seen, you know, if, if you've missed it, go and check out Irvington. But I mean, you're talking 4,000, 6,000, 8,000 square foot homes. And some of them are 100 plus years old old growth trees so freaking big i mean you can barely get your arms an eighth away around them uh, and it's just beautiful and quiet in this area so it's going to be one of the most expensive areas that you find in there but at the same time highly desirable with just endless things to do you're right next to the moda center too so for all your games and stuff you're kind of right in the mix of everything we'll jump down uh number six on the list and before we get to that will you just comment down below um you know what are some of these areas that you've heard of that you uh think may fit your lifestyle Number six comes in uh, the Pearl District. So this is obviously, you know, it's all condo living. There's no homes down there. And as of like, you know, all that bull crap that happened, you know, with the rioting and stuff, um, it was really the, the hot zone. So I don't want to sugarcoat that in any way. That's where a lot of the riots were happening. It was just crazy down there. Uh, before that, uh, you know, it was, it's amazing. That's actually where my family, my wife and I got three little kiddos and we would take the max and we would get off at the Pearl district and just walk all day. It is so enjoyable. And I actually saw a lot of families down. You'd see, you know, moms pushing strollers, uh, you know, and there's dog parks everywhere. There's actually a lot of parks downtown. So I see it, you know, it's definitely coming back. Uh, it's not like it was a year or two years ago. It's actually where the, the mayor was living until everybody discovered that, but it's, it's, incredible living you have parks every you know four blocks down there you're right in the heart of everything it's you see like just people in yoga clothes carrying the yoga mat it's very like everybody wants to work out all the shops restaurants bars and yes we are seeing the families you know start to go down there who don't want any yards any uptick they just want to be right downtown uh and close to everything in a, in a nice area so there's some nice you know even like penthouse style um uh condos and stuff that are up there as well to you know, have all of the views of the rivers, the mountains. It's really, really incredible. Uh, number five on the list is the Lads Edition. This is pretty cool. When you look up Lads Edition on the map, it's the only one where, you know, everything is northwest, east, east, geez, north, south, east, west. But Lads Edition is this like basically someone was taking some drugs and I'm going to make something really cool out of it. And you have all these like diamond shaped, you know, uh, roads. And actually, where all those little diamonds intersect, there's little rose gardens and stuff. Um, the houses are all, you know, really good size. Cause that's the one thing when you get in that Southeast neighborhood and right there, you are next to when we did a top three, um, favorite or top three foodie neighborhoods to live in it's sandwiched right in the middle between two or three of them right there so you kind of get that real private nature look in the old grow trees big lots like big 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 open sprawling lots very cool architectural style home uh and it's not that that far out there it's really it, it puts you close to downtown but that's an area too where i you know we would be out there vlogging shooting videos and i'd see the dad with his bike and, and the wooden basket on the back and his two kids with helmets on their backpacks and he's taking them to their school right down the road so uh, lads edition is one if you like um kind of being close to everything but still get your big yard big um just the, the word i'm trying to think of maybe you can comment down below but architectural style homes it's that's it lads is really really cool and next to you know all the restaurants number four is the northwest district and so when i say district um, it, it can kind of compile of a few different things it can sprawl up to the west and first i'll just say um there's downtown so when you think of northwest there is trendy first trendy third that's 21st 23rd ab that's where some you know shops bars restaurants in fact when like my wife's friends come in town she usually takes them down there because it's just really entertaining to walk up and down those streets uh, with all the shopping restaurants bars the homes that you see down in that area are going to be huge old historic homes so if you are just i want to be right downtown from everything i want this big old historic home that's that's the spot you know right there um and then it extends 
actually you would think north up into the hills, but it actually goes kind of out to the west, straight west, and that heads right into Forest Park. Forest Park's the largest park inside of uh, city limits in the United States. It's massive. We go there all the time, so you can kind of feed right into that. And when you think about that, you're not really up into the hills as much. Um, there is some living, obviously, in the northwest district up in the hills, um, but it kind of stretches from downtown all the way up into that section. So you, you can either go up a little bit, it's going to be windier roads. It's going to be views um, down into Portland, Oregon, and close to everything. Incredible schools. Everybody raves about the Northwest District schools. And as you can see, when you get in close there, that's kind of what people um, enjoy. So a lot of private clubs around that area as well. Number three on the list is kind of the neighbor to the Northwest District. It's Arlington Heights. Now, this is one where you're not going to be all the way up as high as like Southwest Hills, like we talked about. You're kind of right in the middle, but in your backyard, literally in your backyard or your side yard is the, the Rose Garden. You have, um, you know, all the parks right there. So this is where people just go walking all the time. You can head all the way right down to uh, downtown. You're going to find massive homes that have views of the entire Portland, you know, downtown Portland. It's super luxury. Like this is, you know, again, we're going to see high, you know, execs and people who want that really nice, luxuri luxurious um, architectural style home. Um, that's, that's just different. Right. And you're in the trees. I mean, you're going to see old growth trees. there, just as high as you can see in the air. Um, and so our Arlington Heights, Northwest is any of those right in there. It's going to be more for those people who just want kind of that, um, that, that, that private living with all the parks and you're, you're, you're not down in the hustle and bustle. You can get to it quickly, but you're going to have, you know, bigger three, four, five, six thousand square foot homes, if not even bigger than that. Number two on the list is going to carry us out to uh, kind of the east side, the southeast side, and that is East Moreland. So East Moreland is unique because you are going to be right next to, uh, you know, West Moreland, I guess you can call it, but Moreland, Milwaukee Street. So Milwaukee Ave right there is where some of the funkiest shops are. Uh, you will, <laughs> it, It's fun. It's another area that we go to. It is just endless shops, restaurants, bars right along Milwaukee and Moreland, you know, is going to be uh, Westmore is going to be a little bit more of your smaller living. It's weird because you'll have like a $200,000 house, uh, you know, a small little one next to like a $1.4 million house. That's where you're not going to find the uniformity um, because it's just, you know, people have come in and rebuilt things or, you know, there's just a massive home next to a really small one. And no, you're not going to find a $200,000 house. So get that out of your mind. I don't know why I said that, but uh, Eastmoreland shares a border with that. And now you have um, actually the East Moreland golf course right there. And if you go right next to the, um, right next to that is the, the Reed college and Reed college Ave. This is one of the coolest streets. And Jesse showed me this a couple years back and they actually shut that street down. And during like 4th of July, they do parades on it. It's massive homes, big, you know, pointy roofs. Um, it's hard to get into these areas. It's very highly desired. A lot of people who are moving, relocating, they, they don't really even hear or know about East Moreland. It's more of like a local type of thing, generational type of thing. Um, but it's going to put you really close to downtown Portland in a very nice area with incredibly big homes right next to um, the rhododendron gardens right there too. Just gorgeous. Reed College. Um, so East Moreland, if you kind of want like that more up luxury style um, living, then then that's going to be a, a, an area that you can still have all the attractions and shops and bars, but you're going to be, you know, kind of in that nicer area and with a country club right there. Number one on the list, uh, this is pretty cool because it wasn't there uh, when I've done these in the past and Jesse's going to be pumped because it's his favorite area to live, see, be in the entire Portland metro and that is Healy Heights. Every time we go up there and we've showed clients this area, his jaw just, I mean, it doesn't drop because he knows it, but he just loves it. It's just, you cannot beat it. You get up onto the highest part um, kind of of that whole Southwest Hills area. And so you're way, way, way up there. We've actually launched the drone from up there. And I mean, you are on top of the world up there. Some of these homes, again, this is where you're going to find probably the craziest architectural masterpieces. I mean, these are like where designers and, and builders come from all around to, to build these style of homes. You have parks just, I, I mean, you drive around, there's like, boom, just this gorgeous park right there top school districts. Um, and it's going to bring you up in the hill. So it's just very, very, very peaceful. You're going to get to know your neighbors. You know, people are out walking. It's nature to the 10th degree and views for days. You're going to be spending quite a bit up there, but it would be, you know, your quintessential, just Portland nature living, beautiful, giant sprawling house and views for days. And yet you're right on top of downtown. So you're never going to be like 45 minutes from anything. 
you'll be right there next to everything you need. So these are nine incredible areas. Uh, this is what we do. The most important thing that you do is if you are moving, thinking about you know moving to Portland Metro or even Vancouver and looking to buy in one of these areas, we know this stuff like the back of our hand. We know two, three, four areas you've never heard of in your entire life that may fit you perfectly. But the only way that we can help you is you got to reach out. You got to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. Days, nights, weekend, we got your back when moving to the Portland Metro. And until the next video, guys, we'll catch you later.